The Other World Kingdom frequently abbreviated OWK, was a large, commercial BDSM and Femdom facility, resort, and micronation, which opened in 1996 using the buildings and grounds of a 16th-century chateau located in the municipality of Cerna in Zadar Nad Sazavu district, Czech Republic. Although not recognized by any other country, it maintained its own currency, passports, police force, courts, state flag and state hymn. History The Other World Kingdom was officially founded on June 1, 1996, and was open to visitors by the spring of 1997. After two years of construction costing £2 million, it provided a D.S. environment of a size and consistency not available at any other facility in the world. The land and buildings were offered for sale in 2008 with an asking price of €8 million. Euros. The sale particulars suggested the property was suitable for use as a hotel, restaurant, residence, or old people's home. As of 2016, it was still for sale. Government <inaudible> 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 The OWK styled itself as a matriarchy, where women rule. It also had strong BDSM and female dominance themes. The state's goal is to get as many male creatures under the unlimited rule of superior women on as much territory as possible. The OWK had always billed itself as a state, it was, however, a private for profit enterprise with no connection to, nor sanctioning by, any recognized sovereign state. The OWK was supposedly ruled by Queen Patricia I, an absolute monarch whose coronation took place on May 30 and 31, 1997. She was able to amend laws and other legal issues. Her other roles include, "...sublime supreme administrator", supervision over all activities within the area and the office of the supreme administrator. Sublime Administrator of the Treasury, financial issues, and of the Queen's Court and the Queen's Guard. Below the Queen was a series of different classes. The first was the Sublime Ladies, or Ladies Citizens, who form the kingdom's nobility. To become a citizen, a woman had to fulfill certain criteria. These were the woman must have reached the age of consent. The ownership of at least one male slave. Obeying the principles and laws of the OWK. Sending an application for citizenship. Spending at least five nights in the area of Queen's Palace. The next class was the Queen's subjects. These were men who followed OWK law, obey the Queen and pay her taxes, but have some rights such as, "...freedom to travel, own property and deal with such property, have children, change employment, enterprise and state his opinion." The lowest class is the, "...slave," class. This was a male class who had forfeited all rights, were property of the Queen or sublime ladies and were considered to be, on the level of a normal farm animal. Topic: Facilities. The site was 3 hectares, 7.4 acres in area, with several buildings and a 250 meters, 820 feet oval track, small lake and grassed lawns. The main building was the Queen's Palace, which was the residence of the monarch, and contained a banqueting hall, library, throne room, torture chamber, schoolroom, gym, and extensive basement prison, the cells of which could be hired. Additional visitor accommodation was provided in the Long House, including the Countess Elizabeth Bathory Chambers complete with two torture chambers. This building also contained a swimming pool, pub, restaurant. 
and the Wanda Nightclub. The outdoor facilities were supplemented by a sawdust covered indoor riding hall and stables. See also Exit to Eden, Anne Rice's novel describing a fictional BDSM resort Story of O, featuring the Chateau of Wasi.